What if you can encounter people who looks like you but they are not even blood relatives? This situation can only happen if these five conditions or assumptions are met. Assumption number one, no selection, no natural selection. All people within the population have an equal chance of reproducing and passing down their genes. Number two, no mutation. Parents pass down their genes to the children and mutation never occur. Number three, no migration. No one is allowed to enter or exit. Number four, large population. Smaller population are more prone to genetic drift. Number five, random mating. The people mate without preference. And this is according to Hardy Weinberg equilibrium. It got its name from mathematicians Godfrey Hardy and Wilhelm Weinberg. And it states that a population's allele and genotype frequencies are constant when there is some type of evolutionary force acting upon them. And now, let's explore the math. There are two main equations that we will focus on. P plus Q is equal to 1, where P is the Dowiel allele frequency and Q is the recessive allele frequency. The equation says that the Dowiel allele and recessive allele have to equal 1. The second equation deals with the genotype frequency. Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium was massively used in predicting the number of casualties of cystic fibrosis in the European countries after the World War II. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic condition that affects body proteins. It is a disease that affects cells, tissues, and glands that make mucus and sweat. This affects one individual out of 10 of the whole population during the period was discovered. Hardy-Weinberg first equation is useful in knowing the exact proportion of the carriers of cystic fibrosis. If the given is 0.10 is equal to Q squared, we can further compute for the value of Q by getting the square root of 0.10. Using the first equation, P plus Q is equal to 1. P is equal to 1 minus the square root of 0.10, which is 0.316. So, P is equal to 0.684. In conclusion, if 10% of the population is CF positive, there will be 43.2% carriers of CF, while there are 46.8 individual negative in CF. Did we arrive with the value of 1? Yes! Amazing! If there is no additional gene variation, the same diseases and genetic disorder will occur with higher probability in the same community. Greater gene variations in the gene pool will result to individual uniqueness. Thus, we will find strength in diversity.